Hi everyone, it's Kaz my Passage channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, thank you, Josh Thomas and Braden Tyler. Um, if you ever turn Kaz my Passage, welcome. Like, comment, share. If you're new to the channel, watching this for the first time, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Saturday. Um, Brendan Sy, 28 games, 6 goals for 5 years. Um, got delisted. Um, got told he wasn't going to be offered a contract for 2022. And understandably why we did that, we did wait for the trade period. Um, been in the club for 5 years, um, hasn't really developed... Oh, Hasn't really made a statement and made that spot his own. Um, didn't help with Bucks. I don't think Bucks liked him that much. I thought, and and Nathan Buckley's the type of coach and person as well. If you're not up to his level or how you should behave in a football club, then you know we don't want you. You worked hard in 2018 to play. And even playing that grand final, um, an inside ball where he's tackling the machine. So we made that tough decision today. Um, and look, I do agree with it for one part. Um, it, it kept changing, it kept changing. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, we need to move him on. And thought maybe Fly could turn him around but obviously club and the list management decision thought better offer and I can totally agree and accept that decision um I wish like he could turn around and prove um people wrong as well but facts are when you're when you're too good for VPL and you're not good in the AFL I think that's probably the, the main reasons why that that concern is um on top of that, so I tend to agree a little bit um, with that. And Josh Thomas, I think, started in 20, 2009, pretty sure, when he got drafted. 123 games with 101 goals and a hundred and what is it? A thousand and third Collingwood player as well. Um, Kurt Swipoik for that information a, a shout out to him um 30 years old um had the him and Lauren Lachlan Keith we'll call it a drug scandal we stuck by him well, it's not really a drug scandal it's something that he took in New Zealand um stuck with him played really well in 2018 like really dominated the form and 2019 that goal and against GWS in the prelim final. I don't really give a fuck what the Giants think of that, whether it's touch or not. They can kiss my fucking ass on that. Um, just really excites me as a Collingwood fan, and it's just, it's just um, um, you know, going to the 40 year love watching Josh Thomas play. Like, this year he has shown. And, and turned his form around. And I thought we would have gave him like one or two more years at least. Uh, made, wasn't going to get off a contract, decided to retire. Um, I just want to thank Josh Thomas for everything, all the memories. As a Collingwood fan, the ups and downs. Um, if there was a player that would that deserved to win a premiership, it's you, mate. In your heart and soul this club and you're fucking gonna be um but to do what you did play over 100 games to the club and kick 101 goals in 123 games um a huge shout out so at least this way through the, the heart and soul of the club um deserved the year at least one more year um, 
Oh, and the brain of my live stream, man, even shout out to Ultimate Greatness, this live stream on YouTube. Um, we certainly, we have had debates on it. Um, we certainly, yeah, have an opinion. I, I, I would keep Thomas around because he's, he's got that experience. Don't know if there's going to be a player that goes past him now, but I think for now we'll see it. Um, you know, we're, we're definitely going to see the, the likes of our, of our younger kids coming through and taking that spot. It's, it's what we need and I think now we can accept the fact that it's our and somehow. Uh, it, it's a worthless business, AFL football. Clubs is included. Um, don't have to make tough calls and start this everyday life. Um, Yeah, you're not going to be begging for someone's job. If they make that decision, and you got to have to cop it on the chin. And for that, I'd like to congratulate JT on a on a wonderful career again. It just shows you on on what type of person and player he is. And I think we're going to see the the likes of him again. Um, you know. Whatever he does outside of football now, um, certainly when you get to the to the age bracket, you think, do they have one more year left? Do they have two more years left? Clubs are not willing enough to do that, and make that tough call. But sometimes you have to make that decision, and you're gonna have to really make those tough calls and. You know, clubs wear that decision all the time. I do accept why they made that cut call. I'm not much else you can say. But, I, you know, I accept the decision. Um, I do. Clubs are making the best decision. Um, this one's not, you know, I'm glad that Eddie's not there to hopefully not influence that decision, but in a way, making a tough call now. I think it goes well for us in the future. Um, I hope you guys do like this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. It means the world to me. 200 subs. Till next time, go the Monty Pie. So I'm a little bit sad about this result, but in a way, I'm more acceptable of it. It was bound to happen eventually. It's just happened at the end of this year after the trade period. All set and done, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Bye for now.